Hello and welcome to the channel. This is a simple Spring Boot application which we had created in the last video. Now if I want to run this application using this run button then I am getting this error application failed to start web server failed to start port 8080 was already in use and to resolve this issue it is also suggesting to identify and stop the process that's listening on port 8080 or we need to configure this application so that it would listen on the another port. So first of all let's understand what is the meaning of this error application failed to start and web server failed to start port 8080 was already in use. So it means the port 8080 is already in use by some other service or some other process ID and if you have already watched the previous video where we had seen how we can change the port for a Spring Boot application there we have discussed that a Spring Boot application uses 8080 port by default when we run this using the embedded Tomcat server. But now the 8080 port is used by some other service so it is not available for this particular service and that's why it is failing uh, stating this particular error. So now as per its suggestion we can configure this particular application so that it would listen on some other port than the 8080 port or we can identify that service or that process which is using 8080 currently and we can stop or kill that particular service so that the 8080 port is available again for this service and we can start the service properly. Now let's see the first solution where let's change the port for this service first and for that we will go to this resources folder and inside that you will find this application.properties file. Let me open this and here I will define some other port. So to configure that I will write server dot port equals to let's suppose we want to use 8081 instead of 8080 we want to use 8081 let me save this particular file and I will start the application again so if I go in this file and if I run this application now so as you can see it is started successfully now and it is started on 8081 port now so this was the first solution which we can do. Let's suppose we do not want to change the port and we want to use the same port which is 8080 uh, for some or the other reason. Then let's see how we can resolve the issue without changing the port. So let me stop this application and I will remove this particular configuration from here. Let me save this file. Now, now we need to find out which service or which process id is using 8080 port for that we will have to go to the terminal first so i will open terminal and here i will run command ls of and hyphen i then colon and the port which is 8080 so it will give us the output uh, about the process id which is using this 8080 port so i will hit enter so this is the process information and this is the process id which is using the 8080 port. So we will have to kill this particular process id. So for that we will have to run one another command which is kill hyphen 9 and this process id. So for you this process id will be different. So you will have to use that process id here after this kill hyphen 9. So I will hit enter now so that it will be killed. So if I check again using this particular command so if i copy and paste this so you will not see anything in the output because 8080 port is not used by any process id now it means the 8080 port is available now so if i try to run the application again so it should work so let me go to this particular file and if i try to run this so as you can see the tomcat is started successfully and which is on the 8080 port. Let me know through comments if still you face any issue and if you want to learn Spring Boot in depth and become proficient in that you can check out the Spring Boot playlist on the channel and do subscribe the channel to become the skilled engineer. Keep learning, keep supporting, see you in the another video.